The Morris Jamel Mansion has been in New York City since before the Revolutionary War. Built in 1765, the house served as a war room for George Washington and later as a home for Aaron Burr. It's packed with history and just as many ghost stories. In your professional opinion, do you feel like there are spirits in this house? If there are such things as ghosts, they are here, yes. Vincent Carbone is a paranormal investigator who also gives tours at the mansion. What kind of things have you seen? I haven't seen much, but I've certainly heard disembodied voices, footsteps, I've heard objects moving, other staff members have seen things, uh, they have heard things as well. Including activity here in Aaron Burr's former bedroom. In the paranormal uh, industry, there is a term called EVP, electrical voice phenomena, and that's a sound uh, or a voice that's recorded on a digital recording device that you didn't hear in real time. About two years ago, we were recording in this room, and about a week after the investigation, the team lead sent us this clip and said, hey guys, we got something in Burr's room and I don't know what it is. So what did it sound like? Well, that, I'll leave that to you. I wish we were in a different room watching this. This is mm -hmm. a little creepy. Now notice none of us react to it also because you didn't hear it at the time. Because we didn't hear it. But also notice that it's so loud that it has an echo, much like our voices in the room at that same time. So we've isolated that sound, we've stretched it out, we can't figure out what it is. Can you hear what it says when you stretch it out? No, I mean, everyone has a different opinion, right? So I, I, when I first heard, I thought it said, he doesn't love you. Some people say they're gonna laugh at you. So. Let's see if anything turns out to you. We were still skeptical, so Vincent gave us a tour of the house. So what do we have here? What is this? This is a electrical magnetic field uh, meter. The device is used to diagnose electrical problems, but it's also used by ghost hunters who believe spirits tap into energy sources in order to manifest. The closer you are to an electrical field, they say, the brighter the lights become. So I think we should test it out here. We should. I'm going to okay. take it to the front right here. Okay, so I'm going to put one right there. I'm going to put the second one right here. I'm going to take a step back. Remember what it looked like out in the hallway. Okay, now this is what it looks like in this room. This furniture that you have in here right now, as I said, this is original. This is from France. Eliza Jamel did own this, okay? Um, so there's nothing electronic in, around, or underneath these pieces of furniture. I'm not saying that the, we're definitely you know, capturing a ghost conversation here, but it's pretty interesting. It opens up the dialogue a little bit more. The Morris Jamel Mansion hosts ghost tours twice a month for believers and non-believers alike. Healthy skepticism is, is what we want. Uh, I'd much rather investigate with a room full of skeptics than you know, one person who's truly a believer.